Hey what is up, welcome back to another Population Zero video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get through the jungle without taking toxic damage, which is very important in order to get the end gear stuff. So first, if you look on the map, at the top left you see the jungle. The middle of the jungle will be toxic no matter what unless you get better gear, but the left side stays non-toxic. So if you follow this route right here, you should be able to get to the back, and the back does not have toxic or toxicity at all, anything that will give you toxin damage, so you should be fine back there in order to collect stuff. Now there is a reason that you have to take this path. So in the middle of the jungle, it is extremely toxic. You cannot go in there without getting supplies from the jungle in order to make, um, to make a mask. Now, the thing is, how are you going to get the jungle supplies if you can't go into the jungle? This is the only route i found so far that you can go that doesn't have toxin damage. So you can get to the back, collect the resources in order to get the things necessary to go in the middle of the jungle, where you get more resources in order to make the endgame armor. Now the cool thing about this is that even though you cannot go in the middle of the jungle, you can get every single resource you need for the end game weapons and tools. So by the time you go through this, you can find everything necessary for this and you should be prepared in order to go into the middle of the jungle where it's a little more difficult and you find better and rarer resources, but you will have everything necessary to do so. Over to my right, if you continue following it down towards the larger opening of the river, and you just continue going through it, which you'll see in a second, then you'll be able to continue down the path, and that will lead you up towards the volcano, where you can find a lot of the stuff necessary in order to make the endgame gear. So once you keep going straight and you go right past the river, you'll see this path. And with this path, you usually have a bunch of Gavars, so be prepared to fight them or run past them. But when you keep going up this path, you'll, you'll find all the resources that you'll need for the mask, for the endgame weapons, and all that stuff. There's also two things I want to warn you guys about. Don't stray too far from the path or else you might take toxic damage. And also don't run into the giant um, yellow hordes of bees or whatever they're called because they will hurt pretty bad. So just avoid those two things. Also, another warning is that there will be stronger creatures up here. There's a warrior and a worker. They're called like psychopods. And they will give you stuff necessary for the end game weapons, but they are harder to kill than normal mobs. Um, once you get used to their attack patterns, you can really get the hang of killing them. But until then, just be aware. Anyway, that is all for this video. If you enjoyed, then please hit the like button. Somebody ever already subbed and turn the notification bell on if you want to see more of these videos. I hope this was nice and informative and really helped you guys get into the jungle because this game has been pretty hard uh, at some points and I've gotten stuck. So I hope this really helped you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.